you. It's fine, it's safe. So let me see my hands. Let me see my hands up in the air, please. All right, good, good. Now face that motorcycle over there. Force 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, uh -huh. Yeah, so I just wanted to feel how comfortable it was, make sure the padding was right for my buttocks. Oh yeah, and how to feel on your buttocks, sir? 10 out of 10, you'd say? Uh, you know it. It felt pretty good. I might need to, you know, buy mm -hmm. something else, maybe like another pad. It was a little yeah, rough. You know what's not going to feel so good on your buttocks? Yeah, what's that? This oh, no, no, me, no. Do I look like a dumbass to no, you? No, I'm not I'm lying. I would never, I would never lie to you. I would never do that. We we'll never do that. All right, let's start again, then, sir. Let, let, let me just let me make you aware of the rights you've got in this great country of ours. You got the right to remain silent if you choose to. Anything you do, decide. Decide can and will be used against you in the court of law. You got the right to attorney if you want, but can't afford one. Be appointed by the state if available. Now that you're aware of your rights, sir, would you like to take it from the top and let me know what's really going on here, sir? Let's start with the truth this time, though. The truth. The truth is that. I really like that bike, and I just wanted to sit on top of it and just get a feel for it. I, I'm not lying to you. I swear to God. Can't I'm sure, just trying to get my apple ship apple apple. Adam's Apple Boulevard. You can take it for a test drive if you want to. You can sit on them. You can you can change the colors. You can do anything you want to in there. Well, you're not, make you you're think not allowed to It's okay that. to step on someone else's property and put your butt all over it. Do I go to your house, sir, and say, uh, hey, his couch looks pretty good. I'm going to put my butt all over it. Do I do that, sir? That would be crazy. I mean, I would welcome you with open arms. But I see your point. You know, I respect <laughs> you. You're a very open person. I appreciate that. But you know what? That's besides the point. Yeah. You got rights. Your property is supposed to be free of other people's butts at all times, sir. Are you sure he doesn't want my butt on his bike? I mean, <laughs> apparently not, because he, he went ahead and called 911. Said someone's trying to call. Someone's trying to steal my vehicle. Police! Police! Come quick! Told us the location, everything. Uh, wow! I I can't believe he yelled. I would like that, because I was just trying to be a nice guy. I was trying to warm up the seat for him, you know. No big deal, really. I'm just trying to get to my postal worker job. <laughs> I'm a post office worker. Uh -huh. well, why didn't you use your phone yeah. call text cab, sir? That's what most people do when they got to get to work. Every day, I, I, when I get on the train, off the train, I, I call text cab and get myself a ride to the PD every day. Sign on dude. I don't know why you can't do the same. You know what? You provide a good point. You provide a good point. I could have just called a taxi. Maybe he has a motorcycle that I could sit on. It's, it's very possible he could have taken you over like, to the Adams, like this uh, Adams Apple Boulevard car dealership and you could have sat on as many motorcycles as you as you choose, you know? Could have been like Cinderella's you slipper. You you, your butt could have tried every single motorcycle in the store. It's not like I can't afford one. I, I actually have two supercars, but like I just really, well, you know, I really wow. just wanted to sit on that one. Just really want to sit on that one because it. I'll tell you what, that it looked like to me, sir, it kind of looked like you was tampering a little bit with the driving column, you know what I mean, over by the ignition switch? I'm not sure what your tamper went sir, over there. Sir, how That's a little dare far you? Your butt. How? Sir, how dare you? No, look, oh, I, I was testing you. The, 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 the vum vum, you know what I mean? The, the vum vum. <laughs> I was trying to practice. I never driven a practice. motorcycle. So you were just pretending that you were starting a car then, uh, to start a motorcycle, like you were imagining in your head like it was yours? Exactly, because you got to start the car first, and then you got to, you know, boom, boom. So I didn't mm -hmm, get to that mm -hmm. part yet, you know what I mean? So, so you're saying maybe if I, I had not this. turned my sirens on, maybe if I had just snuck, snuck up on you real quick, quiet, like, I would have heard you, like, humming to yourself, like, Quite possibly. Exactly. There is some good, see, you know what, next time I need you next to me, to make those sound effects while I'm practicing my driving. <laughs> kind of add the uh, immersion, yeah. you know, some realism to it. You feel like you're really on that motorcycle driving. Maybe I can even get like a fan exactly. or something and blow it in your face. Make you feel like you're on a highway. Yeah, it would like, make my hair flow like really luscious and graceful. It would be great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
be I'll take time. that into uh, consideration, sir. We'll see about that maybe next time. For now, though, you got some identification on you? I believe you're Mr. What, Swolroid, right? That, yeah, that is my name. Hold on, it's in my back pocket. Let me get that for you. I think there I found go. it here. Mr. Yep, there it is. Swolroid, Mr. Curtis Swolroid. Oh, we'll put that right back here. All right, Mr. Swolroid, is there anything on your person I need to be aware of? Uh, guns, knives, uh, marijuana, methamphetamine. Uh, I definitely have a gun, but it's legal. That's fine. I support your uh, right to bear arms and your Second Amendment rights as a as an American. As an American. Uh, what's up with this you, uh, this burglary kit, sir? You uh, you out you here uh, picking locks or something? What would you need a lock pick for? Burglary kit. Yeah, it looks like it's got like, a lock pick in here. Sometimes my cars don't work, you know. Actually, it's the key. It's a bobby pin. Uh -huh. It keeps my hair up. You see this hair? It I keeps got your hair. Head. Your hair and your hat. You, you yep. got a bobby pin yep, for that? Yep. If I'm I don't sure wear I'm this hat. Sir. If I don't wear this hat, my hair is just all in my face, so I need to keep it back. Mm -hmm. do, do I have to remind you of the... Oh my god. The truth stick? I got the oh truth stick, god. you know. Oh my god. Uh, uh, all right, we'll all see right, about that. We'll see about that. Okay. Mr. S all right. Mr. Swarroy, truth why is it you've got uh, $28,000 uh, <laughs> separate from your from your cash? Why, why is this 28000 What's special about this 28000 here? My grandma gave that to me. It's special. It's dear to my heart. Did she know? She, she said, gave you a special twenty-eight thousand dollars. Listen, little Royd. Yes, listen, little Royd. Listen, you take this money and you, you know. Oh my God, that speed racer, officer. He's speeding. It was, it was a bit, yes, a bit fast. But anyway, yeah, Grandma, little, you know, Grandma Swole. She was like, just take this money and start your new life in Los Santos. Start it and you will cherish every moment of your new life. And I love you, baby boy. Smile. Uh -huh. She Curtis. said that, wow. Grandma Swallow yeah, sounds like a that. lovely woman. Yeah, she's a great woman. Are you going to go play with the bike? Boom, boom. Uh, no, sir. I'm just making boom, sure boom, it's, boom. uh, you know, I'm just going to call a tow truck for it. Get that one out of here. Doggy doggy. Whose bike is it? The bike is the property of its registered owner. His name is uh, none of your business, Mr. Swolroyd. His name is Curtis. If you say so. I'm a sword. I'm going to take these uh, weapons off your hands here. We're going to go down a Mission Road PD, have a little uh, chat, but I can't have no weapons in my cruiser. <laughs> Not the weapons. Come on, Azir. Come on. Too big for this back seat. I'm sure you'll manage. The dog. That's usually what she says, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mr. Solright. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's personal. I forgot. <laughs> that's what she says. <laughs> Is this like a ride along? Am I uh, riding along? Uh, yeah, in, in a manner of speaking, Mr. Swalroyd, yeah, it's a, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like a ride along. King Ford Dispatch, show me 1076 right, Mission Road PD with one to 1092. Oh, don't freeze. Don't freeze. I wish I knew what all those numbers mean. Do so I have to add them up or something? Uh, what numbers? The the ones I use on the radio? Yeah, is this like a math equation or something? Were you, were you trying to get me to do yeah, math? Yeah, it's like a here? math test. Basically, we uh, we call out on the radio how many times we've been lied to in the last 60 seconds. And, uh, you know, we go for the high score. Yeah, so mine's obviously zero, right? It would be yeah, zero. Yeah, yours is 1092. 1092. That's... No, that's... That's too many times. It's zero because there's zero flies. Oh no, no, sir. We we got a we got a computer in the back that that automatically adds them all up. It it, check, it checks your uh, statements for truthfulness, and then it gives us a calculation at the end with total number. So you're at one thousand ninety-two at counting so far. 
So what is your name? Because you're a liar. You're a complete liar. I don't lie ever. Mr. Swolroy, I don't appreciate such, such accusations. My name is Trooper Ripley. And I do not tell lies. R listen, Ripley, believe it or not. You're going to believe what I say because I'm not lying. I would never lie. I'm not a liar. Well, you say so. I'm not it's so like sure about time. that, Mr. Swolroy. How dare you, Ripley. I've got nippleitis. Do you mind rubbing my cream on there for me? Sir, you stay here. All right. I'm Wait, sure uh, we oh, can find somebody over at uh, Bolingbroke Penitentiary to do that for you. Yeah, great health care. Penitentiary? What the? What the? Uh, hey, look, there I am, right there in the picture. That's me on the bottom right. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that's uh, that's a nice, that's a very yeah, flattering. That's my grand, that's my, gra that's actually my grandpa. That's my grandpa. Oh. Yeah, that's my grandpa. All right, this way, Mr. Swalroy. I can move. Should I walk down here? Yeah, yeah, right this way. All right, I think we're gonna put you in uh, holding cell number one here. It's gonna be third door on the left, as long as it's not occupied, which it is not. If it's not locked, it's I'm number one, you. right? You're number one, Mr. Swore. That is correct. All right, hang out here for just a second. I'm gonna punch your name into our far-reaching criminal database. I'm gonna check the uh, FBI, CIA, Interpol databases for uh, Swalroy. Make sure you're not wanting any outstanding warrants for your arrest. Absolutely not, never. <laughs> Grandma Swalroy, so it's such a sweet lady. Curtis Swalroy. No arrests. Alright, so what do we have, Mr. Swan on? I know, right? <laughs> He's a gym animal, I agree. <laughs> alright, um... Alright, so I've got him on, um... Grand Theft Auto. Um... Where's Grand Theft Auto? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't tell me he's working. We're shitting in there. I was oh, my right God. Here. You got a newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not, Mrs. Swalroyd. You just you just enjoy that though without the without the toilet paper. I prefer a fitness magazine if possible. <laughs> I think they got a couple of those. Before we, tested, of course, yeah. we don't have any in the holding cell, so I'm afraid. Uh, all right, whatever. Twenty-eight thousand. Two eight eight one three. We're not gonna hit him with the bar with the burger kit. That's bullshit. Date. Copy and clear. All right. Okay, Mr. Swolroyd. No warrants for your arrest. I'm gonna go ahead and finish your uh, your book in here. All right. Okay. Oh, I apologize. You you just you just let me know whenever you're done. I'll I'll give you uh privacy on that one. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just had a squat out of that fucking toilet. It was very deep. Oh, don't worry. I'll, uh, I'm sure you can't uh, flush it. I'll just go ahead and do that for you. Yeah, you might want to flush that. I, uh... There we go. Let that steamer go. All right, Mr. Swalroyd. <clears throat> You're facing uh, two charges today. I could easily make it three if I wanted to, but uh, you've been cooperative with me, besides lying through your teeth half the time, but uh, you didn't try and kill me or nothing. You did have a gun, so if you chose to, you probably could have. So uh, I'll take that, that into consideration. You had some burglar kit tools on you. I'm going to go ahead. I stripped them off your person here. We're going to put them into evidence, but we're not going to charge you with them. That is a misdemeanor, but, uh, you know, I think uh, the charges we got at hand is probably going to be more than enough to get the point proved here. So you're going to be hit with one count uh -oh. of attempted grand theft auto. And one count of possession of stolen property to the amount of twenty-eight thousand eight hundred thirteen dollars. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. It is. It is. I'm not sure what uh, where Grandma Swalroy got that money from, but I'm afraid uh, simply being in possession of it is a is a crime in and of itself. So, so we're gonna take that off your purse and put that Jesus. in the evidence lockup. That's a lot of crime. 
It is, it is. But uh, them charges, uh, so the Grand Theft Auto is a 15-year prison term, and uh, possession of stolen property is 10. So that's going to be a 25-year prison term uh, and a fine of $12,500. However, however, Mr. Swolroy, oh as I indicated earlier, you didn't, uh, you've been cooperative with me. You didn't try and kill me or nothing. You've been relatively cooperative, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce your sentence down to 20 instead. Uh, if you want to go ahead and approach the oh, bars here, I'll go ahead and uncuff you. So you much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I also maybe just have a couple bucks for a new phone when I get out? Uh, yeah, I'll give you, I'll maybe, give you a 500, 500 bucks. Get one of the new smartphones. I'm not, I'm sure people really need their yeah, smartphones. Yeah, yeah. So hang on one second. Yeah, I need a, I need an iPhone 8 at least or, or 20, iPhone 20. Give cash 230. I'm sorry. That bitch should be enough to get you one of the new iPhone 20s or whatnots with all them. Them Facebook apps to play the Flappy Bird, whatever the kids are playing these days on them phones. Yeah, yeah, I need all the gadgets. Yep, all the apps. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Stuff. I'm sure you got that carb counting app so you can see how much protein your intake is. See how much gains you're getting. Yeah, exactly. I gotta fucking, you know, up the protein, up the carbs a little bit. You know, calories, stuff, spinach, meatballs. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's the case. Health. I'm sure that's the case. I will, uh, you can use the Twitter, uh, they've got a, tw a prison Twitter as well, so once you get out, you can call a, a taxi cab on over there. If they don't come, you can head on down to Route 68, there's a grocery store, you can get a cell phone there. I'm sure I'm telling you stuff you already know, so. Uh, I'll go ahead and get you loaded yeah, up I'll on the express job, prison transfer you know. bus over to Bolingbrook Penitentiary. Uh, you can go ahead and head on over to cafeteria when you get there. I think it's going to be meatloaf night tonight, so you should be just in time for food. Head on over to cafeteria and get your meatloaf and, uh, say hi to the warden while you're there. Oh, I love meatloaf. All right. This sounds great. This is oh, I love this uh, place. It'll be can it'll I be good for your gains too. too. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, you work yeah, out in the prison yard. They got a great day. fitness program. All the weights you could lift. Listen, I'm gonna work out for 20 years straight. When I get That's out, I'm gonna be so fucking sense, buff. I'm gonna be so fucking buff. You are. I'll, I'll hardly recognize. I'm sure Grandma Swoward will ba barely recognize her little Curtis. She'll be so fucking proud of me. Like it's just gonna be unreal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's gonna be real proud of you, sir. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll get you loaded up there, get you get you start working out so you can impress Grandma Swolroyd. Say hi to Grandma Swolroyd for me. All right, Bless her Ripley, heart. have a good day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I love this game.